Laurie Holman. Laurie Holman. Hello. You look sensational. Look at you. You look fantastic. I'm really pleased to see you. Thank you. No, I mean, just, just very, very happy about the whole thing. I kind of match your tie. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'd have to put them closer together to make sure. Holy crackers. Uh, there you are. Congratulations on The Walking Dead show. It's the biggest show in the history of television. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, right? Yeah. People are... Now, people are crazy for this show. You got a lot of people who are very obsessed with a little, maybe a little too obsessed with the show. They're going to be stalking you for a long time. Like me. I'm going to be doing it too. Okay. You get a lot of that? You get a lot of attention? Um, I do. I mean, I, the fans are very passionate and they don't really know the difference between the actors and the characters. So, like right now, a lot of people are upset with Andrea because she hooked up with the sociopathic villain of the piece. So, if I go to Coffee Bean or the gas station or... You know, Hugo's Tacos, people stop me and say, you need to get away from him. And it's like, okay, note well, to you self. Know, it's kind of like a cross between the zombie apocalypse show and people's stories, really. You know, their stories. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is what it is, but the zombie, I mean, zombie. Can I ask you a question about zombies? I've got a thing going with zombies. Do they poop? <laughs> What do you think? Well, you know, they eat, right? They eat brains. So, I mean, it's got to go, it's got to go somewhere. It's got to go somewhere. Right, or else they'd get fat zombies. Nobody wants a fat zombie. I, I don't think they exist, fat zombies. I don't think zombies exist, if you want to go in that direction. <laughs> It's like, like thin zombies exist, but fat zombies... No, I mean, like... Uh, but let's, let's stay with the premise that zombies do exist. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't they get fat if they didn't poop? So, therefore, they must poop, logically. I think they do. Right. Yeah. So, if they poop, you can track them. That's, that's a good note. I'll yeah, keep that in you, mind. You want to tell those geniuses right in that zombie apocalypse show? <laughs> do it, I, can I be the tracker? I'd like to be the grizzled tracker. Go, there are zombies around here. I follow can smell the poop. Them. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, follow this. Uh, there it is. It was here a while ago. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm Canadian. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. It's a joke. I've got people in Canada. No, but you performed in Canada at Massey Hall. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. A number of times. Have you ever been to Massey Hall? Um, I think I have. It's a nice place. Yeah. Are you from Toronto? Yes. Oh, I like... Can you say Toronto like people from Toronto say Toronto? Toronto. Toronto. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. They just roll it right out. Roll it right out. Toronto. <laughs> Are you excited to be in America with all our amenities? Um, <laughs> I'm half American. Are you? Yeah, my father was a New Yorker. Ah, right. So I, I, I like to embrace the, the best of both worlds. Okay. Yes. Where do you live? Atlanta. Well, that's American. Yeah, that's American. Yeah. Because that, that's, that's where I, I do my zombie show. Right. Oh, right, right. Of course. Atlanta's very nice. Oh, the roads, though, everything's called peach tree. How do you get around? It's very But well, you know what's really weird about that? Yeah. I never see peach trees. Really? Yeah. No, it never it's actually. It's like they chopped trees. them all down. Yeah, they chopped them all down to make signs that say peach tree. That's what happened. <laughs> It's like a conspiracy. I think there used to be a lot of peach trees there, and then something probably really bad happened that I'm going to get a lot of letters about it. That's, that's my guess. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. How's the southern accent? Do you like that? I don't have to do a southern accent, because my character... No, no, no. I mean, but you live in Atlanta. Oh, you're going to hear it. Um, yeah. Well, you know what? I love the southern people because... They're kind, they have manners, they call me Miss Lori. Men open doors. <laughs> it's, it's like a Men whole... Men open doors for you in the north, too, my dear. <laughs> yeah. If you cross the Mason-Dixon line, doors will still be flying open for you for a long time. You'll be all right. All, right. all the way to Canada, I think, oh, come on in, eh? They'd be fine. <laughs> Even Scotland. You ever been there? Yes, I have. Really? Yes, I went to, um, I went to the Highlands. And, uh, and I'm really kind of bummed because I didn't buy a Nessie. Oh, uh, well, like a... Uh, yeah, like a little thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got a tattoo. Oh, cool. Yeah, but it's not of Nessie, but I just wanted to show it to you. <laughs> It's not, I mean, it's not a real monster. It's kind of like my, uh, my horse. It's not a real horse, you know. It's just it's a joke. That's true. Well, what I love about Nessie is that every time you go into a little gift shop, um, that's the Loch Ness monster. He, um, oh, they know. Oh. Uh. He has a little smile. Yeah, it's a she. It's a she. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, Nessie. Nessie. Yeah. Did you go to Loch Ness? Uh, no, I just kind of, like, 
went around. Well, see, here. that's your problem. You go to Loch Ness, you can't move for Nessies. They, they got a ton of them there. Here, you want a Nessie? Yeah. Can I open that door for you, young lady? It's all of that. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, nice. Next time. Did you did you go around Europe? Um, well, I've, I've, I've lived in Europe at different times. That was just a specific... Um... Really? Which part of Europe did you live in? Oh, England, Malta, France. Malta? Yes. Wow, how fascinating. Yeah. I've never been to Malta. What's it like? It's amazing. It's, yeah. uh, it kind of feels like Mars. It's... <laughs> yeah, no, no, just the, the, the... Another place that I've still yet to go to. <laughs> No, just the landscape is very, very different. I was there when I was a kid, so All right. um, my parents are in the business, so I went to different, um, you know, schools. Oh, your parents are actors? Uh, directors, actors, yeah. Oh, nice. You traveled around film sets and stuff? Yes. Oh, how terribly glamorous. Mm, not so much. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though. There'll be no glamour in it for you. It'll be completely demystified, right? It's kind of a job. Yeah, it's kind of like just how I grew up. So didn't, you, didn't you rebel against it? And yes, say, I did. Oh, really? I did, because when I was born, they were like, oh, we wanted to be an actress. And I was like, oh, you know, I wanted to do my own well, thing. Well, a lot of babies are like, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there was more than that. Right, right. And uh, I, I wanted to be an investment banker, and they just, you know, they didn't even want to speak to me for years. Did you study investment banking? Yes, I went to McGill. I studied economics, and then uh, I woke wow. up and was like, okay, I want to be an actress. Because I'd give you all my money. I'd be like, invest that Would wherever you? you want. You still can. Yeah, no, I, there's not much to give, but you can have it if you want it. I got, actually, I got some Canadian money right here and some bags. Well, it's actually worth the same as uh, American money now. Parity? Yeah. That's not good. Mm. It's not good for the Canadian economy. You know that. Oh, no, I know. I know. <laughs> But you know, it's really funny. Um, supposedly I've got Scottish descent. Really? Yes. Um, Where? I don't know, so, somewhere in my, my, my mother's side of the family. And I, um, I got a role playing a Scottish girl and I had no time to prepare. And it was a Canadian holiday. So I went to a Scottish bar. And I literally uh, dictaphoned all of the drunk <laughs> Scottish people. <laughs> yeah. And, and No one was dictaphoning me when I was drinking. <laughs> Well, they were, but he didn't look like you. He was like, you know. but um, but it was hilarious because at first it was really helpful, and then they were like, as the, the the and I was desperate. I was like, please, like I need to sound authentic, you know. So they were like, oh yeah, and then they'd be like, I wouldn't say that line. Oh, they were looking at your script. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause Don't I, show them their, their <laughs> script. I needed it. I was desperate. Oh, I see. With the actual words. Well, yeah, you could have called me. I'd have helped. You. I didn't know you then. Well, and also, you know what? I apparently my accent is gone. It's not. <laughs> I get told that when I go to Scotland, they say, you don't sound Scottish anymore. You sound like an American. I think it's just because... Yeah, the, I think R's, it's just of... the R's haven't changed at all, Craig. Right. Yeah. Well, my R's is exactly the same as it was when I first started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, we're out of time. What do you fancy? Uh, awkward pause, mouth organ. Uh, you could play the trombone. You could... I'd like to play a musical instrument. <laughs> Well, how about the mouth organ? Okay, sounds good. It's simple. pretty simple. Just open the box and blow. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's great. Best I ever heard. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just because you shake your head from side to side. <laughs> Try to bring some flavor to it. You're, you're bringing plenty of flavor to everything, but... Okay, uh, what do you want to play? Something Southern? I follow that. Easy. No, you, that's the only thing I can do. Best I ever had. <laughs> Be right back, everybody.